gen so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video by the title you already know what's going on please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you won't get notified the next time i post a new video let's go ahead and jump right into this video as of right now what i am doing is i am taking the photo that i took from the actual video and some photos that i air dropping them to my iPad so that I can have a bigger canvas to work on. Here's the iPad. All right, first things we're going to do is we're going to go to Magic Eraser and we are going to remove the background from all of the photos that I got from Google. Okay, so here I am just removing all of that green screen and then any of the areas that are very opaque as far as like the green screen and just removing that because we don't want all of that access. So I'm just tapping removing spots and if I remove too much like I did down at the bottom, I'll either replace it or just erase it completely. And it looks like I actually added it back in there and it just went through. A smaller point. I am going to go ahead and save this to a transparent background and I am going to go ahead and do the other photos. You'll notice that I just I was kind of hesitant. Excuse me. Oh my god, that's so rude. I was kind of hesitant. Oh my god, excuse me, that is so rude. Um, you can see that I was kind of hesitant about saving because some of them was actually pixelated they were very blurry once I transferred them and here I'm stuck I'm trying to decide if I really want to keep it or not and then why did I turn around and save it back to a white background I removed the background just to save it to the background anyways here I am just inverting the photo so that I can actually see transparent background that the photo came with so that I can save it to an actual transparent background here you can see like a lot of that background so I am just going through with a smaller point and I'm just removing a lot of that background and you can see that it's very messy I'm not trying to be neat with it at all I just want to remove those big big webs inside of those branches so that it can really look like it is transparent so now we're going to go into Fonto we are going to use a plain image all black we are going to train we're going to change the resolution to the standard YouTube resolution of 1280 by 720 And we're going to save and use. We're just going to use this as a guide to see how big that the, you know, the photo needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and add an image. And it is going to be the photo that I had taken from the original video. If you've seen Kymus Day 4, then you already know what it is. And so I'm just resizing to the background so that it will be the full photo or the full size that the thumbnail needs to be. I am now going to go in with the garland where we remove the background and I am just going to rotate and resize and position it where I want it to be. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and put that on that right side and just resize. I mean, you can do how you choose. You can see that looks kind of messy. So we had to, we had to get it right, get it right, get it right, get it tight. All right, back into Magic Eraser. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have an idea of what you want your thumbnail to look like and what you really want to use because I bounce back and forth between Fonto and Magic Eraser with ideas. And here I'm just removing one corner and saving it, and then I am going back and undoing what I did and next corner and saving it to a transparent background so that we can use it. When I'm done, we're going back into Fonto. I don't know what you was trying to swipe, girl, but it wasn't that. 
and we are going to add that little piece of garland and Christmas tree and whatever, whatever this is. It looks like garland to me. And we're just going to resize it to fit the corner of our thumbnail. And Magic or Fonto wants to act up. All right, there we go. And one of the mistakes that I did notice when layering a lot more components, you want to save your photo as you go on because once I tapped my original photo of myself, everything that I layered on top went behind the photo and I had to keep moving everything around and relayering it. And it took me forever. I actually relayered all of this stuff like four times because... I just didn't save the photo as I was going and just re-entering it or replacing it back into Fonto. So I would suggest that you save that photo several times after you continue to layer things on it if you have a lot of layers like we do here. Okay, so now I am adding a image and we're just going to add one of the circles so that we can add our YouTube title to the thumbnail and then we're going to go in and change the color of that circle to whatever color we choose and just resize it to fit wherever you want it to fit now uh, I already did this part but I wanted to show you how you can get different fonts in Fonto, and you're going to go ahead and go to thefont.com. Sounds very ghetto, but it is what it is. And you can search whatever you want cartoons, graffiti, anything you want. I searched Christmas, and it shows you exactly what it's going to look like. So, all those Santas and bells and candy canes and stuff that actually spells Christmas and those shapes or objects or whatever it is. So right now I'm just going through and saving a bunch of these. I did it on my phone, but I never did it on my iPad. So I'm just going through and downloading all the fonts that I want. And then I'm going to show you how to install them into Fonto. Once you download, you're going to go into your files folder or files app. You're going to click on downloads and you will see all of the zip files that you downloaded. You're going to click on each one separately, one by one and you are going to hit the share button and then you are going to hit that copy to Fonto and then you click install you have to do these one by one it takes you a minute so if you download a lot of fonts it's going to take you a minute so here is where I had to continue to layer all of my fonts and all of those photos with the transparent backgrounds over and over because I didn't think to save my photo before I went and added all that text. It was just, I don't know why I didn't save, but as you can see now my circle is gone. It's behind the photo and then it's back in front of the photo. Like we had a lot of difficulties recording this video. Now, I am just changing the colors, the outline, the, the strokes, the shadow. If you want a detailed video on how I just play around with that and how I actually do it, please make sure that you like and you comment down in the comment section and I will give a more in-depth detail on like the colors and ombre effects of what I'm doing here because you will see I'm just playing around with the colors, trying to get a feel of what I want and I had to do it several times just to get it to my liking. So like I said, if you want a detailed video on that, I can definitely do that. Just comment down in the comment section. This four was actually giving me the hardest time. And it's because I used a different font than I did for the other, the other words. So now I ended up going back into Google and finding the snowflake ring because I wanted to add a little something around our title. So I saved that photo. I am going 
into Magic Eraser and we're just going to remove the background. Now you'll notice that I saved several photos and the first one I tried to remove the background but it just was not giving what I wanted to give. You'll see that I removed the background and I took it back. I removed the background and I took it back and then I realized girl this is not working. So I went to the other one and I went ahead and removed that background and you can't really see much of it. I save it to the transparent background and then I go back I invert it so that I can see like what snowflakes I want to keep and all I'm doing is I'm just removing sections of the ring because I don't want to use the whole thing and I will do this several times just to get a feel of what parts of the ring that I want to use and mainly it was that big snowflake that I wanted to keep but with it being on the side I was just having a hard time deciding what parts I wanted to erase out of this ring but you know to each its own it's whatever you want to do we're, again we're going to save that to the transparent background and I think I did this several times Girl, you don't think you saved enough? Oh, I did. <laughs> so now we're going to go back into Fonto and we are going to... What am I doing? Okay, so I'm going back and resizing 1280 by 720. Save and use. It looks like I'm going in and adding a photo. Okay, so I ended up just saving saving those that photo as one so that I can go back in and add the snowflakes to our title. So I'm just resizing to our thumbnail guide. And then I am going in to add some text. which I don't know why I did that. We need to go in and add the image, which is the snowflakes. I hope this isn't all over the place. I really hope you guys are keeping up. If I need to do this in a more organized way, please just let me know and we could just redo this. But here I am just resizing the snowflakes to my liking and just to fit on this circle. You'll notice that I just rotate and resize and reposition it several times. It's literally just resizing, repositioning, resizing, repositioning. It's pretty much a repetitive process. Like, that's all you're doing is just layering and resizing everything to, you know, be cohesive and organized just so that it, you know, it looks good. And then we are going to save that thumbnail. And it looks like I'm just going to pull up the photo and show you the finished product. And there you have it guys, Kaima's Day 4 Thumbnail. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in Vlogmas Day 8, I believe. Bye Gems!